Hi, happy Webtoon Wednesday. I am going to be doing a quick review kind of deal on the Webtoon called True Beauty. This Webtoon is, I really like how real it is. So, here you go. This is our main character, okay? And I don't know if you can really see, I'm not going to be able to zoom in, but she's got like really thick eyebrows. She's got like a lot of pimples all over her face. Her name is Jug Yeon, which I'm probably saying wrong. And again, I apologize. But she is obviously portrayed as not very pretty or not very attractive. Now, what she does, she goes online and she's able to look at a ton of videos online about how other women can do their makeup, how they contour, um, apply um, the double lids on their eyelids, obviously, or they put contacts in to make their eyes look bigger, and just a bunch of beauty tips like that, and moisturizers, just everything she can get her hands on or anything she can watch about how to become beautiful is basically at her fingertips and what she wants because she's tired of being ugly. She spends all of, you know, middle school being teased and made fun of. So she's ready for a brand new start. She wants to be beautiful, right? Which, I mean, I guess most of us do one way or another. And she ends up meeting this guy at a comic book store when she's ugly right when she, she doesn't have no makeup on she's in sweatpants her hair is like up in this crazy bun and she's just they're fighting over a comic book and she's like I want that one and they actually end up being friends eventually but she's teetering on this line where she becomes friends with this guy and she likes him but she doesn't want him to know that she's the same girl as the girl in the comic book store that's ugly or that she feels is ugly. And she does have a really good personality and it's really nice because in the webtoon the artist does a really good job as like betraying her like she'll do like this really crazy face she'll be talking to her brother and her brother will say something and she'll like Ugh. and just like that Ugh. and the artist does a really good job at making her face look really weird and gross as they just like bicker back and forth and it's really cute. The artwork is very well done and like I said I do find it more on the realistic terms in some portions of it, right? So you do have some portions that I don't really find very realistic. Like she ends up being able to go and do makeup for like a famous K-pop singer type deal which to most high schoolers isn't an opportunity you will ever get. But she does. She's able to do the make makeup for like a famous person, right? Or com an upcoming famous person, which is really rare, I think, in reality. But at the same time, there's the realistic aspect because she's trying to learn how to get her guy's attention or to make him like her. So she goes online and does like a forum or like a question she puts out onto the internet. And these people are giving her advice. Granted, it's bad advice, but it's still advice. And she ends up taking it and using it. And, like, his reactions are pretty spot on because he's just really confused how she can do, like, this 180. She's really nice and friendly. And then all of a sudden she's cold and distant because someone on the Internet told her to be. So I think in that aspect it is very realistic. There are... 130 some chapters you can read it for free on webtoon on app on the app or just online you can do webtoon.com they are also coming out with a tv show about it which i'm excited for because i think it's going to be awesome anyway thank you for watching i hope you have a good day and that you find something amazing to read whether it be webtoon or manga or book anyway bye everyone